Okay viewers, so I'm going to work on the grips and the grip shifters today. And the first problem we have here is this gap, of course. We don't want to have a gap like that. So these grips are, they're usually on really tight. And so what I do is just try to get under them with a little tool just to kind of create a pocket. Be careful, you know, don't, don't tear them up, but just give them a little movement and usually you can just get them free enough to pull them off it takes a little effort but if you work it just right you can uh, get the grips off so let's work it Okay, it's off and uh, what I want to do is make sure that when it's back on that it goes all the way in there's a little washer here to keep the gap between the shifter and the grip separate so what I'll do is I'll just measure put that down there and so that's the distance if you look that's about right so what I'm going to do is clean this off and usually what you need to do is usually use a little soap and water okay so I put a little soap on here just a little soap and water not much doesn't take a whole lot so that makes it moist and now hopefully I got just enough this will slide on fairly easy now well, maybe not Maybe I didn't get enough. No, it's going. So I just push it in. It's up tight against the shifter and the washer. Keeps it from inter impeding with the shifting. And then as soon as the water dries, it'll be fine. So you just want to get it on there where the best grip is at. So there we go. Because once it dries, it's going to stick. Okay. That's it. The next thing I want to do is this brake is out of adjustment. So I'm going to adjust this down. There's a screw in here. But what I need to do is I need to remove the cable from the brake to get more slack so I can get my screwdriver in there. So stand by for that. Okay, to give me some more slack, I just squeeze the brakes in and then lift the cable out like that. So then that gives me more slack to be able to adjust the brake lever. Okay, so here's the brake lever. And if I pull it up and open it up, now that I've got more slack, you can see the screw in there. It's right there, so I'll just put my screwdriver on there and tighten it up. And that will make it tight on the handlebar. But, of course, I want to have it down here like that. So let me get the screwdriver. on there. Alright, now I'll move it into position and I'll tighten the screw up. Alright, so I've got the screw on there and I'm just tightening it up. Okay, so now it won't move and that's in a good position. So then of course all I need to do is reattach the brake cable to the brake and We've got working brakes and a lever that's in good position. Now if you need to adjust the brakes, you know, this adjusts the cable length here. You turn it one way, it gives you more slack, and you turn it the other way, and it tightens it up. So I like a little extra slack, especially on the front brake, because, uh, you know, if you grab the brakes real hard and they're real short, could end up going over the handlebars and that wouldn't be good so I give a little extra slack but there's still a good distance here so there's room for the cables to stretch okay that's the brakes adjusted we'll go on to rear derailleur and some adjustments there all right let's check out the shifting so right now I've got it in the highest gear this is a six-speed cassette so it's in 6th, C 
Seems to spin pretty good. No issues. Good. So let's go to fifth. Looks good. Spinning freely. Fourth. Seems pretty good. Third. Seems really good. Second. Start. Let's go down to first gear. All right. As you can see, it's kind of kind of skip in there so if you look at it right there you can see what's happening is it's riding up so the derailleur is too far in so what I'm going to do is make an adjustment on the screws down here because the low screw is letting the derailleur move too far in so I'm going to get a screwdriver and I'll reposition the camera and we'll tighten that up okay so Hopefully this view shows okay. What I'm showing is this is the derailleur. Here's the low uh, gear adjustment screw and this is the high gear. So the low gear adjustment screw is hitting a stop right here. But what's happened is, is it's let the derailleur go over that way too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my screwdriver on here and I'm going to turn it in. And if you see, see how it moves the derailleur away? I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the crank a little bit. And if you look, it's a little bit better lined up now. Let's come over here. All right. So we're looking at it this way. Okay. It seems to be a bit better now. All right. I think we've got it now. So if I turn it here, let me go down through the gear. Goes up, goes down, let's run it all the way down. You see it's not rubbing, it's spinning smoothly and that's what we want. Okay then, so what I want to show you is this is the grip shifter here. So there's a little opening right here and I thought about just taking it completely apart and lubing it, but I think what I'll do is I just got some some lithium grease and it's in a spray can. I'm just going to give it a little squirt in there. And then I'll run it through the gears up and down. Hopefully that'll get it lubed up a little bit anyway. Wipe off the excess here. That'll give it a little weather protection too. The grease is kind of a barrier for moisture. And that's what you want. So I was going to take these apart, but they really seem to be working okay. So we'll just keep going with it. That's basically it for the shifters. Uh, I did adjust the grips, the brakes, levers, and... Uh, Went ahead and adjusted the rear derailleur. The front derailleur was working fine. Uh, no issues with it going up and down through the gears. So the drivetrain is adjusted up and it's ready to go. So the next thing will be is tires and um, maybe some final adjustments here and there. But for the most part, this bike will be ready for a new owner. Um, I may just give this one away. Uh, somebody said that their child is looking for a bicycle. so. Maybe it'll be the bicycle for a child and I'll be real happy with that. Thanks for watching.